We're not concerned with workflow, these kinds of things that can be solved. We're interested in the problem of creativity and how that moves into workflow and making great buildings. As a manufacturer, we can't design something and force it on an architect. It doesn't work like that. It's the architect that's always the designer. We have to collaborate with them on how to forward this material innovation. And the only way we're going to do it is if we bring groups together like this to advance it. We have spent over the course of our 40 plus years as a firm, a tremendous amount of, of, of research, ongoing research on curtain walls. And that research is usually very specific. It's very applied to a project. And it's often very much under in incredible constraint. What ACOL allows us to do is to back up and ask fundamental questions. Given the history of terracotta and acoustics that we quickly began to uncover, we rapidly came to this decision that, well, maybe what we're really interested in is the sound of terracotta, and specifically the sound that it could make in urban open space or in a park. I think that when, when one works in a kind of university environment, one doesn't necessarily think about the standard material because you can do things that are non-standard. So we took these very standard components and we want to use or misuse those plainer standard components to make a volumetric piece. So it was a great opportunity for me to sort of put my hands on the material and use the water gen and other tools to sort of get as much as you can out of that material. This notion of taking this traditional material terracotta and in, imbuing the technology that hasn't been available until today. Uh, and that technology is in part in material uh, shaping and research on shaping and parametric design. It takes the synergy of all three groups between the students that have the bright ideas, the young practitioners that are designing with it, and the manufacturers that have the young energy that come together and try to solve these problems and just want to forward the innovative aspect of the material. There's just such a great division between the practice and academia right now. I think that firms that are trying to bring those two together is what the future of architecture is really about and where the field is headed. We've been able to work directly with terracotta manufacturers. We've been able to work directly with ceramicists, directly with the musician. Anytime people are committed to collaboration, I'm convinced so many good things can happen. <laughs>